Hello, I'm Dr. Jasmine Huang, thoracic surgeon at St. Joseph's Hospital Medical Center in Phoenix, Arizona. I'd like to talk with you a little bit today about the pulmonary nodule. First off, what exactly is a solitary pulmonary nodule? Well, technically, it's a finding on imaging studies of the lung of up to three centimeters in size on the lung tissue that's usually seen on a chest x-ray or a CT scan of the chest. Usually these findings are in patients who rarely have no symptoms at all, so they're considered incidental findings. So then we have to ask, what is this nodule? Where did it come from? Well, there's a huge differential diagnosis for these nodules. They can be benign or malignant, meaning it could be a cancer. Benign causes can be due to infection or inflammation from a trauma or from something we're just born with. Then there can be malignant causes. The most common type of malignant nodule is an adenocarcinoma. The next most common is called a squamous cell cancer. Other types include a metastatic cancer, meaning a cancer from somewhere else in the body, or also there could be a type called a small cell cancer. So if we find a pulmonary nodule, we need to know what to do with it. The main reason we worry about pulmonary nodules is the possibility of it being a cancer. But the trade-off is we don't want to do unnecessary surgery to take out nodules if they are benign. So there's an algorithm or protocol that we follow to decide how we treat these nodules. The most important thing is to take a history of the patient with a pulmonary nodule. Is the patient a smoker? How old is he or she? Is there a previous history of cancer? Is there an old chest x-ray or old CT scan that shows this nodule? Next, we look at the nodule on chest x-ray or other imaging studies. How does it look? Compare it to other x-rays that the patient has had. Has it grown in size? Has it been stable over the past couple of years? If it has grown or is a new finding, we will often recommend a CT scan of the chest to better assess the nodule. Other testing that may be done includes something called PET scanning, which can give us additional information about certain characteristics of the nodule. Depending on the findings, if the suspicion is high for malignancy, we may recommend a biopsy. Each method of biopsy has various benefits and risks associated with it, so if biopsy is recommended, these can be discussed with your physician. If our suspicion is not high for any type of cancer, then we would recommend repeat follow-up CT scans over a period of two years. Our goal in management of pulmonary nodules is to find a careful balance between attempting to identify and resect early stage lung cancers, but also to minimize the rate of invasive procedures for treatment of benign pulmonary lesions. Thank you for taking the time to learn about lung nodules. If you have any further questions, please call 1-877-602-4111.